In this video, we're gonna talk about the best jobs for ADHD brains. Hey, my optimal minds, Dr. Legrand here, and today we're gonna to talk about the best jobs for our ADHD brains. I get it, it can be really difficult trying to find a job for us, especially with having ADHD. We probably have had several jobs and having a hard time holding a job, so we typically wonder, can we fit in in any kind of job? So I wanna go over the best types of jobs. There are gonna be five different job types that I think that are really good for people with ADHD, and so let's dive into them right now. The first category of the best ADHD jobs that I think for people with ADHD is passion-fueled type of jobs. So what are passion-fueled types of jobs? Well, these are typically something that you're going to be passionate about. I know you're probably like thinking, oh, you know, passion, have your passion, find the passion job. Well, I have a hard time finding a passion job. Well, usually you need to think about, okay, first, what are you interested in? Okay, how can you make that a job? Second, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you're particularly interested, in, but maybe find out what you might be interested. In. So what I did when I was in college, I did a lot of job shadowing and looked at what areas of maybe that I would be particularly interested in. And yes, it led me into becoming a doctor because I found that that was very passion driven. It was helping others and helping saving lives and transforming people's lives. So I was really passionate about that by helping others. So it led into that career. Now it might not be the medical field, but it, that is definitely one area is the passion of having helping others. It could also be maybe working with pets, maybe being a veterinarian doctor. You know, it could be something that you're just more passionate about and it gives you more drive because it's helping others is a bigger cause but those types of jobs do really well with people with ADHD the second type of job that does really well with people with ADHD is high intensity types of jobs so what are these these are types of jobs of being you know a police officer a firefighter a detective something that really is you know high intensity it might be also being an EMT you know working in the emergency room being an emergency doctor those types of jobs do really well because people like us with ADHD we do pretty well with high intensity types of things because we are very hyperactive we can be very hyper focused and really do really well in these types of jobs. I noticed we, even when I was in college, I did really well with the EMT types of classes, the emergency types of classes that I had to take because for some reason my ADHD brain did really well with just very high intensity situations when it came to really knowing the information and getting to it versus just, uh, you know, the day in, you know, office job of working at a desk. Those types of jobs are probably not the best for people with ADHD. Now the third type of job, I know I just said, usually office types of jobs don't do really well with ADHD, but there are some people with ADHD, I think this might fit for you. And that is the ultra structured types of jobs. And so some people with ADHD don't do well being you know, an entrepreneur or being a doctor, you know, being independent or high pace, that they need something very structured. Because people with us with ADHD, sometimes we do need something very well structured. I know for me, I don't. I don't like being micromanaged, but for you, it might be the case. Now, I've known people with ADHD do really well with these ultra structured types of jobs. And what examples are these? Well, this could be an accountant. It could be working for the military. It could be a bank teller. You know, it's something that is very structured where it gives you steps to follow so that you can stay on task and also having someone that's helping you follow those tasks in order and have enough steps versus something that's just more open ended did, then you can have issues with time management. Also, these types of jobs can help you with time management, which is great for people with ADHD. So it just really depends on your situations, your strengths, your weaknesses. And that's the th most important thing is to really realize what are your strengths and weaknesses and what type of job category would these best be for you. The fourth type of job that does really well with people with HD is the hands-on creative type. We tend to be more on the creative side. A lot of people with HD, not everybody with HD, but a lot of people with HD tend to be more of the creative type. So these are, could be anything from, you know, artists, musicians, definitely, you know, being a photographer, a videographer. I love videography. If I wasn't a doctor, I definitely would have gone into filmography. I would have definitely done a lot of videography stuff because I love doing video stuff. But these could also be like a fashion designer, a musician. You know, there's all different types in the arts that you definitely can pursue. So if there, if you've liked any kind of particular art, you were passionate about it, well, guess what? That is a, something that you should start pursuing, especially if you already have a job that you don't necessarily like and you should do it on the side. So that way it becomes a career option for you. So you love what you do. Now the fifth area, and this is my all time favorite. And the reason that I have chosen this area is the fifth type of job that I think is great for most people with ADHD is being independent, being a risk taker. Now that might be scary at first is when you decide to become independent, which I'm talking about being an entrepreneur, being your own boss. And this is why I think most people with ADHD attempt to do really well with being their own boss. We do not like being micromanaged. I don't like being micromanaged. When I first got out of medical school and I had my first job out of medical school, I was being micromanaged too much and I did not like it. I actually thought I had the wrong career path. But then when I went on my own and started my own practice and my own business, I absolutely loved it and have not looked back ever since. Loved every day of it. 
you know, okay, maybe not every day, but you know, there's definitely ins and outs of things that you're not going to like with having to run your own business. But certainly most of it I do enjoy. And I certainly recommend it to most people with ADHD because we tend to have that mindset where we tend to be really good leaders in a way and also be able to run a team. But when it comes to the very detailed stuff that we need to hire those type of people because we're not very good at the detailed oriented stuff, but we're a good visionary people for a vision for our businesses and to be able to lead a team. And at the same time, being your own boss is just amazing because you feel more fulfilled if you can be successful at it. And let me just tell you, there is a lot of people with ADHD that are entrepreneurs. I would say about 50 plus people who are entrepreneurs have ADHD. Uh, it's very common and it's because how our brain works and thinks we are really good at thinking of new ideas, thinking outside of the box and moving the business forward versus staying in a stick rut, logical thinking way that doesn't always necessarily work for businesses and those businesses tend to fail. So it's always good to kind of think about that. And especially if you combine it, something that you're passionate about. Now, now that's the important thing about being an independent type of worker is if you pursue something that you're not passionate about or like, okay, this seems like a great product to sell. Let's start this business, but you're not really passionate about that product. Guess what? That business is not going to thrive. You're not going to thrive it because you need that passion for your ADHD brain to be able to keep on pursuing it. So if you're going to go the independent route, choosing that option, you need to make sure you're also pairing it with something that you're passionate about it. Now, you might be really scared because you have ADHD and you've had multiple failures that you've failed so many different jobs and you've tried maybe several of these different ones that I've already mentioned. Well, you should watch this video right here of why people with ADHD have a hard time holding a job. I go through the details of that in this video and especially my experiences. So watch this video right now.